simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM). Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Loan portfolios and expected loss. Welcome to the 49th session in your preparation for the FRM Part One exam. We are now coming very close to the end of the course. The next two sessions will focus on credit risk of loans, including expected and unexpected losses resulting in the case of a default. In this session, we will cover the topic on expected loss. In the next session, we will learn about unexpected loss. Agenda. We will begin the session by introducing you to the concepts of bond and loan portfolios. We will learn about the various aspects of a loan, such as outstandings, exposure, covenants, and commitments. We will then learn about expected loss on a loan in the case of a default. We will learn to calculate expected loss. The concept of usage given fault or UGD will be introduced. Which is similar to the option of drawing an amount during distress. Finally, we will end the session by learning about the various challenges in framing a reliable credit risk model. Objectives of credit risk measurement. In their role as financial intermediaries, banks hold credit-sensitive assets. Although these assets are the main revenue generator for the banks. They have a positive probability of default. However, the distribution of losses is highly skewed, so banks should have a keen awareness of the need to identify, measure, monitor, and control credit risk, as well as to determine that they hold adequate capital against these risks. This would maximize risk-adjusted return. Bond and loan portfolios. Let us begin the session by learning about bond and loan portfolios. Bonds have a standard structure, and they pay regular interest payments or coupons and principal on maturity. These portfolios have less complex lending arrangements than other portfolios, and are more liquid than loans. Loans are usually negotiated and have a non-standard structure. The covenants list down the various terms and conditions of the loan. They are associated with complex tax and accounting implications, and are considerably less liquid than bonds.